Hi, these are the style pile notes. These notes help writers add sentence variety and style to their writing. Go beyond my dog ran. To my dog, the beautiful, courageous pug ran hideously slow. Okay, here's how it works. Open up the notes. If you are in my class, you should have a digital copy in Google Classroom. If not, go to the URL and make a copy for yourself. Watch the lesson while filling in your notes. Only copy the parts in red font. This is Mr. Davis and today we're going to be focusing on one word sentences. So in your first box, what is it? A one word sentence. Rules and examples. Well, first of all, it must be a single word. All right, and you can see right there I'm kind of giving you an example here of a, a single word sentence. It must convey a complete idea or make sense within context. So when you look at the surrounding sentences, they should somewhat be setting up the single word sentence and the single word sentence should convey a complete idea. Up here we have this example with all right. That wouldn't make sense without this little sentence coming before. Third rule, the single word sentences should be used for dramatic effect, questions, both asking and answering questions, or effectively to set up counterclaims. And I'm going to show you some examples of how to do these various things. In this first example, it says, many people rightly think that Hamlet was a coward. Why? Well, to know that, you must look at the story. So we've got this single word sentence right here, why. It follows all three words. First of all, it's just a single word. Secondly, it conveys a complete idea within the context. It starts with a statement and then it kind of questions why and then it answers that question. So this does make sense here. It's a complete idea. Finally, this is an example of somebody using a single word sentence to ask a question that kind of just lends a flow to the writing. I want you to take a moment and ponder what is wrong with this example. I'll give you a second to read. So in this example, we have the first rule being followed. We have a single word here, right? But then when we look at rule number two about conveying a complete idea, we see that this does not convey a complete idea, the. That is not a complete idea. In the previous example with why, it was a complete idea questioning that led to the next sentence. So is this example correct? Take a moment, read it. All right, this example is actually correct. When you look at the three rules, first, it's got a single word sentence, right? Go, it's one word that's standing on its own. Secondly, it conveys a complete idea when we look at the context. The money is in the safe. Go. Maybe this is like a bank robber who's giving commands to the folks who are helping him rob the bank. Or maybe it's somebody who needs to go get money out of a bank and they're giving um, a command to like an employee. But still, it makes sense within the context. And then third, this is just used for dramatic effect, right? It's like an exclamation here saying go in this way. All right, what is wrong with this example? I want you to read this sentence, find the mistake, so that way you know what is wrong with the example. Take a moment to do so. All right, hopefully you found that this does not follow the first rule. So if we're looking here, there are no sentences that have just a single word in them, okay? This one right here is kind of like the one I put in there to throw you off. But if you look, there are two words, and grammatically, this is technically correct. It's not that you couldn't write these sentences in this way, but if you're trying to use a one-word sentence, obviously, you have to use one word. So this is not what we're looking to do here. I want you to take a look at the answer choices that are provided and determine which of these actually fixes this sentence. All right, now that you've got some practice, you've looked at the rules, I want you to go to the use it box on your notes and I want you to tell me about the best meal you have ever eaten in two sentences. And I want you to make sure one of those sentences is a one word sentence.
Go ahead and pause the video, take a moment to fill in your user box. All right, here's an example of me using it. I put, I ate at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and loved how the steak melted in my mouth. And then delicious, this follows all three words. I've got a single word. It conveys a complete idea within the context. And then finally, it seems like I'm just using it for dramatic effect, right? I'm just trying to make it be the focus of the sentence that the meal was super good. Here's some more examples if you'd like to see some more examples. So your job now. Use one-word sentences to add style and flair to your writing. Should you use one-word sentences in your writing? Absolutely. Just don't overdo it. Okay, you should not have a whole paragraph filled with one-word sentences, nor do you want to have like 15 of these and maybe in a single essay. However, used sparingly throughout your writing, it's going to add flair and style to your piece. Thank you.